Lastly, we are here to announce that in the less than six months that have passed since the first press conference, Hofstra University and the North Shore Long Island Jewish Health System together, and I emphasize the word together, have successfully accomplished the first two indispensable steps to making this medical school a reality. And as a result, subject to the normal accreditation process, as a result, we are absolutely confident that the medical school will open its doors to welcome its first class in the fall of 2011. So what are these two ind indispensable steps? First, before you, the leaders from both institutions, our friends, our partners, our colleagues, students, before you, we will formally sign a final agreement, cannot be broken ever in perpetuity, a final agreement that cements, cements our joint intention to create this medical school. Frankly, I am grateful just to be here for this event, uh, as I said to Nancy this morning, uh, much less to have played any role uh, in its achievement. Could, because I really believe this is one of those moments, one of those transformational moments in the growth of two institutions that one dreams about, but rarely, if ever, becomes a reality. And today, I think it becomes a reality. So today, this is a historic and a momentous occasion for Hofstra University. And I welcome all of the people from Hofstra who are here. And it's also a historic and momentous occasion for Notre LIJ. And I, looking around, I noticed that we have most of the chairs, the clinical chairs of Notre LIJ here in the senior leadership. And I welcome you. And so we have two premier Long Island organizations both dedicated to a similar mission, which is to be the best at what we do, to be number one in our respective fields, to be the best not just here on Long Island, but be regarded and seen as the best regionally and nationally. And Stu and I believe that, and our leadership themes believe that, and our boards, our respective boards believe that. So we now have come together, these two Long Island premier organizations, to create a partnership to build something new. Exciting, challenging, but something that will be great for healthcare going forward. Something that will be great for medical research. Something that will be terrific for medical education. And something that will be extraordinary for the status and the economy of Long Island. So it is my pleasure now to introduce a wonderful leader, a great team player, and a person that will carry this medical school into the future as a star, Larry Smith. Good afternoon, everyone. Michael, Stuart, thank you for your kind introduction. And to the members of the board, thank you for the faith you're placing in me that I can actually take us along this journey uh, to the creation of something new and something excellent. This is indeed a daunting day, historic, exciting for me, uh, the culmination of a career. Well, why should then we do a different kind of medical school so that Michael Dowling and I don't spend every day searching and wondering who will be the next generation of leaders. Why here? Why, is, why are we building a medical school right here on the Hofstra campus in Nassau County? Well, if I look at our health system, it's pretty amazing. We serve Queens, the most ethnically diverse, immigrant-rich community maybe in the world, and Nassau County, this new kind of pseudo-suburb, maybe city, this, this entity that grew up in the post-World War II era and really is ready for the kind of infrastructure and the kind of institutions 
that the great cities of the world have, not necessarily characterized by what suburbs have. And I think that this university, with all the pieces put together to be poised to be a national leader, and our health system, which got past all the infancy and adolescence of the problems of merging all these disparate cultures, both institutions are ready to grow to the next level. And this medical school, in many ways, is one of the true win-win situations of all times. This is not just about having a superb medical school. It's about increasing the interest and resources available to all of Hofstra students, undergraduate, graduate, as well as medical school in the sciences. And uh, having a medical school on campus, the researchers on campus, the facilities on campus, um, you know, we hope it just spreads far and wide to all of our programs and attracts students to the university who are uh, interested in the sciences. Well, I think it provides an opportunity for us to build something from, the scra from scratch, start anew, think innovatively about how we want to teach students and train future physicians, and for people that want something different and innovative that prepares them for the medicine of the 21st century, and having it here on Long Island so students don't have to leave the area to go to medical school, or for that matter, not go to medical school at all because they can't get in, this provides a wonderful, wonderful opportunity, and Hofstra is a great university. And this raises the status of Hofstra as well as raising the status of the health system. So I see us being able to recruit phenomenal students. You know, this really anchors the faculty's ability to be able to direct their pre-med uh, curriculum to their own medical school. So really, it does, uh, it does a number of great things. I think it's going to change things in the undergraduate programs. It will, as it has in other schools, build up our basic science programs tremendously, our graduate science programs tremendously, and it'll provide Hofstra with exposure to things that we just have not had before. I think it's a fabulous day in the evolution of Hofstra University. What we've done is build a, a stronger and stronger Hofstra, a more well-known and highly regarded Hofstra, We've held on to our core values. We still are there in terms of excellence in teaching. That's still our highest priority. But we've added so much more in terms of an accomplished faculty, a comp more accomplished student body, uh, new schools, honors college, school of communication, uh, obviously the school of law before that, and, and now the school of medicine. Wonderful time for the university. It raises the level of education in both North Shore, LIJ, and Hofstra. Uh, to us, it's a great day. There are only 126 medical schools, and with 126 medical schools, the university is at a different level. Our hospital system is at a different level. There are 5,000 hospitals in the country, only 126 medical schools. Uh, we have everything. We've been teaching 2,500 students between residents and medical schools from other universities, and it's been our dream to get to the point where we could do this with our own university, and Hofstra is our own university. Uh, we feel as the partnership, we're looking forward to it, and we're just thrilled about being part of this change in delivery of medicine and teaching of medicine in our community.